Well, the character of the father in this novel is very closely based on my own father in his old age. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I loved my father, but I, he was also a very exasperating uh, and, and difficult person to deal with in, in, in old age, as most, most people are in old age, as I will be, no doubt, <laughs> in old age. So, I mean, I, I actually, I think I owe most of my artistic genes to my father, who had very poor education, but um, it was, uh, you know, quite a skilled dance musician that was very witty and, and had an you know, excellent vocabulary, uh, read quite a lot, read a lot of books, and uh, was quite a gifted amateur painter, you know, so he was a, a remarkable man in many ways. Uh, but um, the, inevitably, my education taking me through university and so on placed a distance between us, which is always quite difficult to overcome, you know. And as he got older and more kind of obstinate and crotchety, he was and deaf himself, but he wouldn't use a hearing aid, um, you know, that, that the relationship was, was, was quite stressful as well. So I knew I wanted, what, what, you know, when he died, I, I want to address that subject immediately. He, it was in, uh, about uh, eight years ago now, nine years ago. Uh, but I knew one day I wanted to deal with this, which is after all a universal thing. The, the relationship between father and son is always one of tension. I mean, there's always the Oedipus <laughs> complex there. Uh, and there is a mixture of love and antagonism, I think, in most father-son relationships. It's very British, I think, there's a reserve between father and son in the middle classes anyway. Uh, that, that's one of the f aspects of Desmond's relationship with his son. And yes, I did mean to suggest a, a, a kind of a breaking of the ice, in a way, between those two in, in the course of the novel, partly by the um, death of the father. Yeah.